This is a wonderful time, especially if you're providing world-class guest experiences where those guests are primed and ready to book additional experiences with you. Hi there, Kelsey Toner here, the founder of Guest Focus Tour Business Coaching, where every day myself and our team of tour business mentors and coaches help you build a thriving, profitable tour business. Welcome back to our series on how to boost profits in your tour and activity business. In this video, we're going to be looking at effective upselling techniques after a booking has taken place with special emphasis on cross-selling and upselling opportunities with your guides and tour leaders. So in previous videos, we've already talked about things that can help you increase your average order value at the time of booking, meaning one-click upsells and order bumps or creative bundling and packaging. But now we're going to talk about this opportunity that takes place between the booking and the time of the tour activity or an experience. In here, we have a special window of time that many tour business owners are neglecting. You have the customer's data, you have your guests' information, and you could be reaching out to them, educating them, inspiring them, and offering additional tours, activities, and services. Why is this a special opportunity? Why is this low hanging fruit for boosting your profits? Because you have an incredible advantage. This is someone who has already purchased from you. They obviously have a degree of trust in you. They have some rapport. You have their contact information, which gives you a massive advantage over who? All of the competitors out there, all the alternative things that they might do on their holiday or visit to your destination. This is an incredible opportunity to reach out and see if we can offer these guests something additional. Now, if you're in a situation where you just have one core tour activity or experience, then not to worry. But I would urge you, when you're thinking about profit boosting, things that you could be doing, developing additional tours, activities, and experiences, products, and services that serve that same ideal target guest is one of your most profitable next steps. It's going to allow you to reach out and offer a product or service that is hopefully complementary, right? This is the type of product that we want to develop that needs to be based in this guest focus formula. We want to have a crystal clear idea of who we are serving because that's going to give you that opportunity to create an irresistible offer that perfectly complements that first tour activity or experience. Now, if you want some additional help with that process, I would urge you to pause this video and go check out our series on some of the most costly mistakes that tour business owners make. That'll give you a complete breakdown of our guest focus formula, how to do a guest deep dive, and how to avoid this mistake of creating overly generic, uninteresting, or unappealing tours, activities, and experiences. In addition, you could check out our Irresistible Tour Descriptions video series, which will help you design irresistible offers and give you the best chance of selling when these types of opportunities arise. But let's go back to this window of time between the booking and the actual experience. Now, if that window is within 24, 48 hours, we don't have a huge amount of time. But many people are booking your tours, activities, and experiences further in advance. And so what can we do in this time? Well, you have information about when a booking was made. You have the contact information, depending on what you collect during the checkout process, as well as the date and time of the booked experience. That is enough information for you to automate some really effective upsell automations. Now, automations are beyond the scope of a short video like this, but I want to give you three key ways that you can do this. One, you can do this with email automation. Let's have something that runs on autopilot where we are inviting those folks and we can even verify if they have already bought that bundle or bought that additional tour activity or experience and we can pull them out of that type of automated series. But email is going to be one of the lowest hanging fruit. Secondly, if you can collect that phone number, you can have automated SMS messaging that can do the same sort of thing. And thirdly, you could have active outreach from a member of your team, giving those folks a call and letting them know about some of the additional experiences and maybe even a special offer that's exclusive just to them as an existing customer. Now, if that type of marketing automation is a bit overwhelming or you wouldn't even know where to begin with that sort of thing, then I would encourage you to reach out to our team and we could potentially introduce you to some of the contacts in our network who help with this specific type of marketing. And what's great about it is these 
very special opportunities offer a huge ROI if done properly. So head over to guestfocus.com forward slash book a call and you can grab a free 45 minute strategy call with one of our coaches. We'd be happy to help you out. But I want to shift gears a little bit and now talk about another opportunity that might be an easier lift for you. And that is of course, when we are welcoming guests on our tour activity and experience. This is a wonderful time, especially if you're providing world-class guest experiences where those guests are primed and ready to book additional experiences with you. And of course, here I'm talking about this opportunity for your tour leaders, tour guides, or experience hosts to actively invite those clients to book additional experiences. But we're going to need a number of things set up in order for you to do this effectively and to effectively boost your profits. Now, firstly, we need to have guides educated on what your offers are, of course. Two, we need to have those guides or tour leaders incentivized to actually do that selling. Thirdly, you gotta have an irresistible offer. You gotta have that product or service that's actually gonna resonate. We have to come up and deliver that offer in a timely manner where there's some authentic scarcity and urgency and reason to act now while they're there with you. And that really ties into our last element, which is the technological solutions that are going to help us make it easy for that individual to book on the spot and maybe even track some of that commission for the guides or tour leaders. To help make this all a little bit more concrete, I want to share some of my experiences when working with Chris Sandeman and Sandeman's New Europe Tours. Chris is a longtime friend and colleague, and he really pioneered this idea of the free walking tour. Now, this is hugely popular across Europe and is making inroads around the globe. In case you're not familiar with the model, the idea is you offer a free tour, and literally, there is no fee to attend. But then you encourage and have speeches by the tour activity guide, experience, or host, where you invite people to uh, pay what you thought the tour was worth or leave a gratuity for that guide. But the real secret sauce in terms of Sandeman's New Europe's business model is then upselling and cross-selling those guests who have come on a free or low-cost tour to a wide variety of additional paid tours, activities, and experiences in that same city. So let's break down some of their best practices. And I had the pleasure of going on a number of Sandeman's free walking tours, and I got to see firsthand how effectively their tour leaders and guides upselled and cross-selled us on those free walking tours. Let's go through each one of those elements I just covered. So firstly, of course, the guides need to be educated on this process and they need to be made aware of the other tours and activities on offer in their city, which was not difficult to do because in many cases, as you'll see, those tour leaders were actually running or hosting those very same experiences that night or the next day. Secondly, we had to incentivize those tour leaders. So some type of kickback or commission is entirely appropriate to help create alignment between yourself and those guides. But here's where the real secret sauce came in. Because Sandeman's knew who a lot of the folks they were targeting were with these free tours. These were people who very often were staying in hostels. They tended to be um, of a younger generation, free, independent spirits. They welcomed people of all ages, but they knew that they were much more inclined to be interested in nightlife experiences, for example. They also knew that these folks very often were backpacking and didn't have their own transportation. So a lot of Sandeman's paid tours and experiences really focused in on these particular, uh, whether it was dream scenarios or pain points. So I remember going on one of these walking, free walking tours in Lisbon, and the upsell was to join our guide the very next day on a transported tour out to the Douro Valley. It was outside of Lisbon, which has been challenging for some folks to get there or certainly more complicated. But hey, here's an easy button where you could join us and you're gonna see some of these incredible sites and we're gonna provide that transportation. So notice here that, we, that the offer alignment was really strong. I really want you to appreciate that if you don't get this part right, the offer alignment of actually having products and services that are complementary to those ideal target guests who are on your tour, the rest of these best practices really aren't gonna help you at all. Okay, next, notice the next best practice. Midway through most Sandeman's free walking tours, there is an intentional and intentionally long, I would say, 10 to 15 minute bathroom break. 
Now this bathroom break is done in a place where there is another Sandman's rep who meets you there. Now our guide, who has just been providing an excellent experience, then says, hey, we're going to take a quick 15 minute bathroom break. Uh, they point out where those restrooms are, but just before they release everyone, they wanted to let people know about some of the other tours, experiences, and activities that were happening tonight and tomorrow. This would be a very short three to five minute overview of some of those tours and activities and how if you got registered right here, right now, they'd even be willing to offer you a limited time discount. If you have any questions whatsoever about these tours and experiences, feel free to ask me. I'm going to be hanging around or my colleague Sandra, who is going to be here to help you make that booking or join us and answer any questions. This was incredibly elegantly done. It was non-intrusive and it was really framed as selling as a service, really inviting said, hey, if you love this tour, if you're having a great time with me, you can join me tonight as we're going to another section of the city. Or you can join me tomorrow, as this case in Lisbon, where we're going to head out to the Douro Valley. And I myself, notice here that that was part of the elegance of the Sandman's upsell was because that if you have a bond with that particular tour leader or you've had an amazing experience, what a great reason to join the tour that evening or the next day. So there was a real sense of trying to have that tour leader be the one who is facilitating those experiences. Now, for lots of reasons, that may not be possible, but I want you to appreciate that it is that intimacy that uh, our tour leaders and our tour guides, if they're doing their jobs well, it's that intimacy that's going to allow them to effectively sell and convert. Now, notice as well that this was a non-pressury sort of sales. Again, at the end of the tour activity and experience, this opportunity was repeated, much like any other tour. We said, hey, I'm going to stick around for another 10 or 15 minutes. If you're looking for recommendations, um, if you want to orient yourself or have any questions for me, I'm going to stick around. Not only is that a great time to uh, be collecting some of those gratuities, there was also a final reminder. And if you'd like to join us on this evening's tour, we still have a few spots available and I can help you get that 10% off discount. Just come talk to me. And same goes for tomorrow. So finally, I'd like to address some of the technology that can help make this experience as seamless as possible. Because you could do all of those steps and then get to a very clunky sort of laptop process or we're handing around an iPad where people have to fill out and then put in their payment information. So we want this transaction to be as easy and as seamless as possible. So what I would highly recommend as a best practice is to really lean into a QR code that can be scanned and that will take them directly into your booking software or to the checkout process where you've already got that discount applied, where ideally you already have an, some sort of affiliate tracking code so we can know that this particular upsell was coming from this particular guide or host. Now, by having a QR code or a very simple URL, people can now do that checkout process on their phones. Now, why is that so important? Well, because we have autofill on our phones, because we have Apple Pay, Google Pay, and credit card information saved. So we want to encourage people to be making this transaction on their own devices in real time. Of the many Sandman's free walking tours that I was able to be on during my travels through Europe, I was consistently impressed with how elegantly they were able to execute these upsells. And I was blown away by just how many people took them up on those invitations. So hopefully if you are putting your thinking caps on now, and if you have been struggling to have your guides, tour leaders, and experience hosts do this type of upselling and leverage the intimacy and rapport that they're developing with their guests to share some of the other offers you have available, go through this video step by step and implement each one of these elements. Could you have a break partway through the tour? Maybe you can't have an additional staff member there, but certainly you can find a time during that tour, even if it's just at the end where you can invite people. But notice if you're inviting people, but you don't have urgency or scarcity or a special offer, then you simply won't get the same kind of results. 
in the same way, you've got to educate and ideally incentivize those tour leaders to do that type of upselling and reward them for helping you build your profitability. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and I hope it's inspired you to think outside the box about upselling after the point of booking in the window between the reservation and when they come on the tour and that incredible opportunity when we are wowing and delighting them. And before you go, let us know in the comments down below what are some of your best practices, tips or tricks for helping inspire your guides to better sell your additional products and services. We'd love to hear if you have some secret sauce or if you've got an incentive structure that really worked for you over the years. Additionally, if you have a friend or colleague that might get some benefit from this video or this video series on profitability, it would mean the world to us if you would share it with them. Thanks so much for being here and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.